Good morning, good morning. Good morning, Demiza. Welcome, welcome, everyone. Let's start sharing the live broadcast quickly. We're going to start any minute from now. I'm just waiting for confirmation from Facebook as well that they are on live. Um, let's share the live broadcast. Let's start tapping on the screen. Good morning, Rispa. Good morning, Tibello. How are you doing? How are you doing? How was your night, darlings? I hope you had an awesome time today. Hallelujah. 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 It is a Friday, right? It's Friday morning. Hallelujah. We're going to have an awesome time in the Lord as usual. Amen. Welcome, Coletta. Welcome, Caroline. Welcome. Welcome, everybody. Welcome, everybody on Facebook and on YouTube. Hallelujah. As you guys are coming in, I'm just giving you like 30 seconds to share the live broadcast and to tap on the screen. Let's share the live broadcast and let's tap on the screen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Okay. Okay, I believe everybody is on board now. Facebook, YouTube, and uh, TikTok. Hallelujah. We are ready. We are typing in the comment sections this morning, manifesting the promises of God manifesting the promises of God. Good morning, Moose. Hallelujah. Today we will be manifesting the promises of God. Hallelujah. That is our theme for this morning. Hallelujah. I was tempted to continue with the hand of um, the Lord, but I wanted to reserve that for our midnight prayer warfare that we're going to have very soon. Who knows? Maybe tonight. I know a lot of people have been asking for that. So I heard the spirit push me in that way this morning we are manifesting the promises of god let me quickly get into it because i know some of you are already going to work and um hallelujah we are manifesting the promises of god hallelujah just give me a second let me let the people on facebook as well know what we are talking about manifesting the promises of god Thank you, Jesus. God, you are faithful. God, you are good. God, you are great this morning and today. Good morning, Minister Amelia. Good morning, uh, Minister Ovi. Everybody is on board. Psalms 1 to 1 verse 2 says, My help cometh from the Lord which made heaven and earth. My help comes from the Lord which made heaven and earth. It's important that we understand where our help comes from. Hallelujah. It's important we understand that when the help comes, it comes uh, on the basis of a promise. Promise. Hallelujah. And I'm going to touch a little bit this morning on the what is the promise and the fail. Hallelujah. What are we talking about when somebody has promised you something and that thing keeps on failing? Is there some evil manipulation in the background? We hope to get there this morning as well. Hallelujah. The promises of God. Hallelujah. That is what we are talking about. And that is what we are hoping to manifest. Hallelujah. It is important that when we uh, look into the word of God, we see what the word of God declares in terms of the promises of God. And the, it, it says, there's a famous scripture that says the promises of God are yes and amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So it's important to know that when God's word comes to you by the spirit, or it may be declared over you through prophecy or the word of wisdom, or sometimes you may receive a word of knowledge, hallelujah. It leaves you with the responsibility to first and foremost, to either believe it or not. Okay. So track with me is what I teach and lay this foundation. When the word of God goes forth, when the word of God is coming forth like this, um, any time you find yourself in the vicinity where the word of God is being taught, it is being taught and it leaves you with the responsibility. I want to tell you to tell your neighbor, you have a responsibility. What is that responsibility, Pastor Fortune? It's either I'm going to believe the word of God or I'm not going to believe the word of God. Hallelujah. <coughs> Foremost <coughs> of all, it takes the word of God that is spoken over your life 
to come to pass in response to your faith. Hallelujah. For the word of God of God that has been spoken over your life to come to pass, it needs a response from your faith. Hallelujah. You have a responsibility. Demise, hallelujah. So your yes, your resounding yes, your resounding amen. Now, hopefully this morning, people will understand why preachers keep on saying, make that, make sure you are shouting that amen well. Make sure you are shouting that amen louder because they want you to say a res resounding yes. They want you to make sure that your agreement is clear. You know, when somebody is proposing love to you and thank you so much for those who are uh, clicking the likes on the screens as well. Hallelujah. Thank you for those who are also, um, um, who are also sharing. Thank you so much for that. Every share is a, um, a, a, a soul in the kingdom of God. Hallelujah. Every share is a soul in the kingdom of God. We need to depopulate hell. Hallelujah. And it can only come through saints actively making sure that the word of God goes far and near. Hallelujah. Thank you so much. I see you guys are act actively sharing. I really like that. And heaven is rejoicing anytime. Everybody, there's so many of us right, are here right now. I need us to share this word, the, this word broadcast this morning. Hallelujah. We need to share this protocol breaking prayer broadcast. Make sure that everybody on TikTok, every Everybody on YouTube, everybody on Facebook, on our timelines, on our groups, they know about it. Hallelujah. Every time the word of God is sent out, it's sent to deliver somebody. And when it's sent out to deliver somebody, what happens then? They have to now make a determination. As I said, they have the responsibility to make a resounding yes and, and, and stand in agreement with that word. Hallelujah. When you are in a, a, a negotiation, for example, you are negotiating with certain people. You want to know that they're really going to come through. Are they going to honor the terms and conditions of whatever you were discussing? If somebody proposes love to you or says, I'm going to, I'm going to marry you one day, you want to make sure that that person is really going to, to, to do that. So if somebody leaves you with a question mark and, and you don't know where you sort of like stand with them, that person is not in agreement with you. That person has not actually said a yes. That is why this morning I'm asking you and I'm teaching this and saying, you must have an understanding. What does your yes mean? What does your amen mean? You need to understand when he gives you a promise, when he gives you a word, when he gives you a teaching, when you're saying, yes, I believe it. Yes, I receive it. Yes, it is mine. What does that mean? Hallelujah. So as I was saying, coming back to the manifestation of the promises of God, it needs a response from our faith. Hallelujah. That resounding yes, that resounding amen, that heartfelt and exhilarating yes in anticipation of fulfillment. God works more miracles when you're anticipating fulfillment. Talk to me somebody god works more when you when he knows that you are excited you are believing what he what what you want uh, or what you're expecting or what you are thinking that you're going to receive god wants you to be excited a lot of people are not excited even when you pray for them they pray for you you pray for them and and they they have this approach that's like mm, i don't know i will see how it goes don't have that type of attitude that says i will see how it goes make up in your mind that this thing is going to come to pass and you now start if Affecting the atmosphere of joy. Suddenly you start oozing joy. Suddenly you start being excited. Hallelujah. God bless you, somebody. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You have to receive the word of God with a believing yes and an excited yes. Hallelujah. So I want us to practice it in the comment section. Somebody shout yes. Somebody shout yes. Facebook shout yes. YouTube shout yes. All of you on TikTok shout yes, 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 hallelujah. So we need to receive the word of God with a believing yes and an excited yes. Mary did it in the scripture in the event of the angel Gabriel coming to her and to announce the good news of her going to be the mother of the Messiah, hallelujah. She had a resounding yes. She said, even though I don't believe, I don't understand how this will be because I've not slept with the man, but there was a resounding yes in saying, nevertheless, hallelujah, there was a resounding yes when the disciples were in the boat and they were fishing all night and they had caught nothing. And when the master Jesus came on board and said, let me borrow your boat a minute. Come on, let's launch out into the deep again. I'm going to show you that I'm going to work miracles. There was a resounding yes. They did not understand. They say, nevertheless, at your word, I will say yes. And I'm stepping forward and I'm excited. And I believe that this is going to happen. Hallelujah. Peter did not know, hallelujah, whether he was going to sink or swim or whatever when he was called out and to walk on the water. But there was a resounding yes hallelujah so the lord is looking for your resounding yes mom katie this morning hallelujah 
Mary, as I said in the book of Luke, she believed with a firm yes in her heart. There was a yes in her mouth. Hallelujah. There was a faith declaration. Don't believe yes in your heart only, but say your yes with your mouth. He gave you your mouth for a reason. Talk to me. Hallelujah. There was an expression of her belief. Hallelujah. In the veracity, in the integrity of the word of God, we send the word. If God has sent that word for you, you need to shout a resounding yes in the comment section now. Hallelujah. You need to make sure that there is a differentiation between your yes. Your yes must be like Mary's yes. It must not be like Zechariah's yes. The Zechariah was the father father of John the Baptist. And if I, I want to show you a scripture in Luke chapter 1 verse 20. Listen to this. Look at what happened to Zechariah. Hallelujah. You don't have to go the way Zechariah did. Luke chapter 1 verse 20 says, And behold, thou shalt be dumb and not able to speak until the day these things shall be performed because you have believed not, you, do, you have not believed my words which shall be fulfilled in their season. So the Lord says, my words shall be fulfilled in the season. My words, what I said will be, will be. But because you did not believe, you did not have a resounding yes the first time around, because you took your time, he said, you are going to be dumb and you are not going to be able to speak until these things have come to pass and have been performed. Hallelujah. God had to shut the mouth of Zechariah. Hallelujah. So he will not use his mouth to destroy the authenticity and power of God's word. Let me stop there because there's something powerful that we need to learn from here. If God had to shut up the mouth of Zechariah so that he would not use his mouth not to destroy the authenticity and power of the word of God. have you? Do you know how many people have destroyed the power of their prophetic word? The, how many people have destroyed the promises of God? Why they are not manifesting the promises of God? Why they are not having answers to their prayer? is because they destroy them with their mouth. So God cannot have any of that. Oh, Jesus. God had to shut him up. Hallelujah. So we don't want, we have to be careful what we say with our words because one minute we are declaring, we are decreeing, one minute we are believing in this prayer and one minute we change. You find yourself three hours later, you say, I don't know. I don't know. It's up to God. You know, it is what it is. You know, what, what do you mean? It is what it is. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. I still believe. Yes, Lord. Oh my God. You don't, you don't understand yesterday. Let me say, share this testimony briefly. As I left the house, I said, God, the next thing I will listen to the next place that I will lend the next broadcast I'm going to listen to, it's going to be a confirmation of what you told me in the morning. And when I switched on the platform that I was on, there was a confirmation. It was the same word I preached in the morning. I said, oh my God, I hear you. And I started declaring and I started bursting forth. When I got to the examination venue and I opened the exam paper, I laughed. Do you, do you know when you know that you know, you know that you know that you know that you've got this. And I said, God, I just want to be humble. I don't, I don't want to say I've got this in the bag. I just want to be humble. But when I left, I knew that it was that thing that God had promised the yesterday thing that tomorrow was going to happen. The thing is the thing. So you have that confidence when you, when you are exhilarated in the yes of God, when everything around you, when nature even confirms that it is a yes, you are moving in the yes dimension. I want you to shout yes one more time in the comment section. When you are moving at the dimension of yes, you are moving at the speed of yes. When even everything that is trying to resist you, it cannot resist you. It has to say yes. So your yes will open up the door of the yes. When the favor has to say yes, when you walk into room and, and you, can, you can see that they cannot help it. You are just charm all over you. You are just anointing. Uh, you are, you are, you are, how do they say it uh, in slang? Our young teenagers, they say you are dripping sauce. You are dripping the, the anointing left and right and center. Talk to me, somebody. Yes, you are moving dimensions of yeses. Hallelujah. You are dripping the anointing of yes. You are dripping the anointing of the promises of God, left, right, and center. So what is your response first and foremost to the word of God? Oh, Jesus. I, you see how excited I get. There's no way you can forget me out of the whole day. My, even, even when I can feel that flu is trying to take over, I'll say never, Hey, never. 
Even if I can do something, somebody might be saying, hey, that preacher is very animated. You will remember me. You can never forget Pastor Fortune in your life. It's a lie. It, yes, yes. You can never forget me. Hallelujah. There is a way I touch everyone. I may rub others the wrong way. I don't care about those ones. I, but one thing is for sure. When you remember me, when you remember the dripping, the anointing, Sis Bugelo, this morning, you cannot fail. You say that woman, that five o'clock woman said, I'm dripping the anointing. I'm dripping sauce. I'm dripping the yes anointing left, right, and center. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So your first response, you know, there's something they call the first response. How you, you responded the first time. I think a lot. I meditate a lot on what people have done. I think about how people have responded when I said something the first time round. Because that tells me exactly where your mindset is. Ah, your excitement, your first response. Hallelujah. Oh, somebody shout yes, yes again. Yes, yes. Hallelujah. A positive response will quicken and aid the fulfillment of the manifestation of the promises of God. You need to quicken your body, quicken your spirit, man. You need to quicken your positive response. So your positive response is what determines the fulfillment and the manifestation of the promises of God. Your, your, your quick yes is indicative of your thanksgiving, which, which, which matches your faith level. Talk to me, somebody. Hallelujah. Thanksgiving, when you keep on thanking God for that thing that you're already believing him for, you are thanking him in advance. I'm going to thank you in advance. I'm going to praise you in advance. Hallelujah. All the time while you are waiting a manifestation. Hallelujah. Oh, Jesus. Father, we say yes to your words. This morning, every word that is spoken from you. Oh, my God. We say yes to every word of prophecy that has been spoken over our lives. We say yes to every word of knowledge that has been spoken over our life. We say yes to every word of wisdom that has been spoken over our life, directly or indirectly from the Holy Spirit. In Jesus' mighty name, I say yes. Oh, I remember when I was even in, 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 the, in, the, in the old churches and, 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 and I was saying yes to the Lord. I say, here I am, Lord, send me. I said a resounding yes with excitement. I didn't know what I was getting myself into. Look at me now. Oh, Jesus, somebody tell your neighbor, manifest, manifest. It's time to manifest the promises of God. Hallelujah. This week, this month, this year, every pending promise of God in your life is activated in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I declare and I decree that every pending promise is going to be manifested in this week, in this month, in this year, in the might, mighty name of Jesus Christ. Every spoken word about your destiny, every spoken word about your future, every spoken word about about you shall come to pass in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Every power that is working against you, every power that is working against your pending promises, it is destroyed in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I speak to that power that is trying to destroy the manifestation of the promises of God in your life. Right now, they are destroyed in the name of Jesus Christ. Your name is being mentioned right now in heaven in Jesus' mighty name. Just in case you are not sure, maybe you are waiting for the angel to tap you on the shoulder. Let me tell you, Mom Kathy, your name is being mentioned in heaven right now. Let me tell Buntle that your name is being mentioned in heaven right now. Caroline, your name is being mentioned in heaven right now. Caroline, you are manifesting the promises of God. God first, you have no option but to manifest the promises of God. Kathy, your resounding yes is exhilarating God right now. And God is excited to hear from your yes. Mm. 2 Corinthians chapter 1 verse 20 says, For all the promises of God are yea and amen in him. They are yes and amen unto the glory of the Lord. Hallelujah. Your connection with God will determine how fast your miracle will manifest. Some of you have been waiting for the manifestation, but your yes is the one that determines how much the blessing is oozing. Hallelujah. There should be a blessing on your head. There should be something that is heavy on your head. The question is, Pastor Fortune, why is it not manifesting? Because you are not carrying it yet. You need to carry it yet. It needs to be inseminated inside of you. It needs to be birthed inside of you. It needs to to be birthed from you after conception. Hallelujah. Birthing can only come after conception because you did not say the resounding yes. You did not conceive it. You did not receive the sperm of the yes. 
Oh, Jesus. So we receive and we conceive and we birth out. And when we have conceived, that's why he lets us brood over a few months or nine months or 10 months. Jesus, I said something there. Some of you, somebody might have been carrying something for more than nine months. The Bible did not tell us uh, that month, uh, you know, uh, that a, a, a term of a baby is nine months. Now, it's not written anywhere in the Bible. So yours might be taking a bit longer, 10 months, but now you need to know what is, what is causing it to sit there. Hallelujah. You are still going to give birth to that thing. Oh, Jesus, let your faith not fail. Hallelujah. Ezekiel says in Ezekiel chapter 12, verse 28, he says, so tell them that I, the sovereign Lord am saying there will be no more delay. What have I said will be done, will be done. I, the sovereign Lord, have spoken it. There's a sovereignty. Oh, Jesus. My husband likes watching uh, a particular country, which I cannot share right now. I almost said the name of the country, but for fear of, <laughs> I, have, I don't have the fear. I don't want our, our broadcast to be affected. But he was actually commenting that, Every person who's being interviewed from this particular country, when they're interviewed by journalists, they don't beat around the bush. Every time when this, this person will tell you, I'm just executing the mandate of my president, I'm executing the mandate of my government, and they don't sort of like play chummy chummy with, you know which one I'm talking about, please don't type it on the comment section. Don't type the country's name in the comment section. But he was actually remarking about the boldness of everybody who's a sent uh, a citizen from that country. Even if, if those, those who are in leadership positions, hallelujah, they understand the sovereignty. So where I'm going with this explanation is to understand that when you are a sovereign state, why your borders need to be protected, hallelujah. When your borders are not respected, the countries that are next door can run helter-skelter and come in and out of you. That is where the exchange of the hands happens. Do you understand? When your destiny is exchanged, Exchanged. That means the person did not respect the border. They don't ex respect the sovereignty of your country. You are a country on your own. You are an entity on your own. You are an individual on your own. There are promises that are allocated to you. Hallelujah. Anytime somebody comes and exchanges those promises by, by, by evil or satanic means, they have breached the sovereignty. They have breached the, 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 the border. They have crossed your borders. Hallelujah. So God tells you that in this kingdom, as far as I'm concerned, as long as you belong to my kingdom, there is a kingdom that I have barricaded. There is a kingdom and within the borders of this kingdom, I am the sovereign king. I am the chief in charge. I am the head in charge. I'm the ruler. I'm the chief. I'm the... I'm the commander of the forces. I don't know whatever terminology they use in whatever country. I'm the sovereign ruler. And I, the sovereign ruler, have spoken. And somebody shout that yes again. He says, tell them, prophet Ezekiel, that I say this. There will be no more delay. Are you not excited to hear a word like this coming to you? Ah, kadia basata kadia Lika Soto. Yes, we are broadcasting on two different accounts. Hallelujah. It's the same life, my darling. It's the same life. Hallelujah. We are broadcasting on both accounts, Mara Official and Fortunel Online. So don't be afraid that you are on the wrong place. Hallelujah. That's why I keep on going like this. Hallelujah. Facebook, are we communicating? Brenda, Mama Chido, this, this, is the, this is the yes moment. This is your yes moment. I, the sovereign Lord, have spoken it. It is God's desire that the promises of God would be fulfilled in your life. It is the desire of God. He wants it to happen. The word manifestation means that there's going to be an event. There's going to be an action. Something is about to happen. Somebody needs to be excited. Tell your neighbor, something is about to happen. Somebody needs to start tatazeling. You know, there's something, something is about to happen. A manifestation is about to happen. You know when you can, you know when you know inside that something is about to happen. And you need to be positive. Something good is about to happen. You know when your manifestation is about to happen. And nobody can tell you otherwise. When your yes is your yes. Oh, Jesus. They can't help it. They understand that it's your yes moment. You are moving in the yes dimensions. You are dripping the yes anointing. The yes, yes anointing. Hallelujah. 
Now, when, when it says you are manifesting the promises, what does the word promise mean? The word promise means that there is an assurance given. There's an insurance policy that stands the test of time. It's better than Holland. It's better than AEG. It's better than any other underwriter that you can fight in, find in the world. There is an assurance given that something is going to happen. Someone is going to do something. Oh, Jesus. Father, your promises have assured us that somebody somewhere is going to do something for us. Our destiny helper is going to do something for us. Yes, yes. God cannot promise you something and not do it. Make up your mind that you are happy and, and you are seated on that promise. If the promises of God are not manifesting in your life, people will, 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 will say you are not serving the living God. So you need to come and come, sit down and reason with him and say, God, if you don't do this thing for me, remember you promised it, as, as, especially when you hold him accountable to his word. You say, you are the one who's not going to get the glory. Hallelujah. Oh, yes. Yes. Everyone around you is resigned. They will see your yes. They are, they are feeling your yes. Your yes is in effect. Hallelujah. So if God's promises are not manifesting, people will think your God is limited and your God is not limited. And you need to remind God this morning, you are not a limited God. You are not a God that promises things and he fails. You are not a man that you lie. My heavenly father, I ask that you manifest your promises in my life in the name of Jesus Christ. Let your promises be manifest to everybody who's listening to the sound of my voice this morning. In Jesus mighty name. The manifestation of the promises of God proves that, that proves your enemies wrong. Don't you think that God wants to prove your enemies wrong? Somebody declare it in the comment section and say it right there. Prove my enemies wrong, Lord. Yes, Yahweh, you are not limited. Prove my enemies wrong. Every man that came into this world came with glory and they came with promises. There are promises that are over your head. I still decree and I declare it. Every pending promise that has not manifested, may the Lord release it right now in the name of Jesus Christ. May you see the manifestation thereof right now in Jesus' mighty name. May your sounding, your resounding yes unlock it right now. Your yes, your shouting, your amen louder. Your yes will unlock it in Jesus' mighty name. You are the one that needs to connect to, to those promises. You are the one who owns those promises. You are the one who needs to connect and activate them. You activate them by your yes. Men can promise you something and they can fail, but God can promise you that thing and they, he will not fail. You need to declare it and say, Lord, you will not fail. No man can limit God. Hallelujah. We serve an unlimited God. In a second, the affliction of years can be wiped away after the manifestation of the promises of God. That thing you have been suffering and you've been struggling with for many years can be wiped away just like that. How am I doing for time? Hallelujah. It doesn't take God anything to turn a barren woman into a fruitful person. Hallelujah. Your, your, your womb from being barren can be fruitful just like that. Hallelujah. It doesn't take, take God two seconds for you, for you to move from a state of poverty to a state of wealth. It can happen. It can transition like that. It might have already happened, but it's waiting for you to activate certain things. You need to unlock it. You need to manifest it. My father, my father, I pray for every single person at the sound of my voice. Let your promises manifest in our lives so that people can see it in our lives, oh God. Let us not be the ones who are walking around without the evidence that we serve a living God. You, you, We, we, we are ready, oh my God, that we will play our part in the manifestation of, of, of your promises in our lives. In Jesus' mighty name. Let's quickly look at the examples in the Bible of, of the people that manifested the promises of God, because this, that's our template, right? We are learning from that template. In Genesis chapter 18, verse 19 to four, 9 to 14, Genesis chapter 18, verse 9 to 14, God promised Abraham a son. God promised Abraham a son and he manifested his promise by giving him a son. So we, we, we see the first example. He comes to an old man. He says, you know what? You're going to have a son. And it was like a joke. And because, you know, the wife was laughing and saying, I'm too old. This thing cannot happen. But the son comes. Hallelujah. It's recorded again in Genesis 21. So you now begin to understand that it is the business of heaven to release what you need for you. Your worry does not change anything. Sometimes we as Christians, we spend so much time worrying about what we are thinking, we're expecting from God. Oh, is this going to happen? Is this promise? No, your job is not to worry. Tell your neighbor, do not worry. Do not worry. Hallelujah. 
It is his business to do everything possible for your destiny not to be stopped. He knows that your destiny must not be stopped. He, that is why when you come to him, you are reminding me and saying, Lord, I declare and I declare that my destiny shall not be exchanged. My destiny shall not be stopped. Because he knows that if your destiny is stopped, that means his credibility is put to test. That means that people will not believe in him. And he wants people to believe in him because the more people believe in him, the more people worship him. And God is all about worship. He's all about that romance. He wants people to worship him. So he wants more people to come. So he's, he knows that his reputation is invested in me and you manifesting these promises. Oh, Jesus. Yes, please tap on the screen. Make sure we are increasing uh, 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 the people that are going to heaven. Hallelujah. God can boycott every protocol for the manifestation of your promises. I want you to say it. God boycott any protocol on this protocol breaking prayer platform. Oh my God, I ask that you boycott any protocol for the manifestation of my promises. I don't know what you have done, what you have not done, what has disqualified you or what is slowing you down, but I decree as he has said, the sovereign Lord has said there shall be no more delays. As he has said it this morning in the name of Jesus Christ, the Lord is breaking protocols for the manifestation of your promises in Jesus' mighty name. Many, many organizations normally close at the December or sometimes they close for whatever vacation. Hallelujah. But God's, God does not close. The kingdom of God does not close. There's no closing date. There's no vacation. He's always there 24 seven government can decide to close the border, but the borders of heaven are always open. They're always open and they want to welcome you. Hallelujah. He can manifest his word anytime, anywhere. That is why the borders of heaven do not respect boundaries on earth. Hallelujah. The earth is the Lord's and the fullness there of wherever you want to go, just go manifest your promise. If God, if God has given you a promise that you're going to manifest in Australia, please go by all means. Nobody will stop you. That's your yes. Hallelujah. Did you hear your yes there? You go ahead and do it. Hallelujah. What should bother you, however, is heaven, not your worry here on earth. You shouldn't be bothered. God is sitting in the heavens. He controls the affairs of men. He's saying, I control the affairs of men. He's sitting there with his remote control. He's sitting there with the Xbox. He's sitting there with his PlayStation and saying, ah, these ones, I'm just, I'm waiting for them to move, move the chessboards. I've given them what I need, what they need. I've given them the word. There's, what are you waiting for? D let me put this to you. You know, that scripture that I love so much. He says, I, you know, he says, be fruitful, multiply and replenish the earth. That means God already knows that you have the capacity to be fruitful. God already knows that you have the capacity to manifest. God already knows that you have the capacity to replenish the earth. Hallelujah. He's telling you what he's already expecting, what he's already put inside of you. Yes, yes. It's already inside of you, Tando. The capacity to be fruitful is already inside of you. He's already given to you that thing. So when you are decreeing and declaring that you are not praying and requesting him to make you fruitful. No, you are already fruitful. You already have the capacity to multiply. You already have the capacity to replenish. So when you are decreeing it and declaring it with me and say, I decree that I'm fruitful. I'm just activating what is inside of me. I'm just creating. He is a creator. He gives birth to what creators and we get engaged in what in creation. You don't like what you see in your life. You recreate your world. You have the capacity to recreate your world. You don't like the thoughts that are going in your mind. You say, God, open up the windows of heaven and pour out a blessing that I cannot have capacity to contain. When you, and you say, open up the windows of my eyes, open up my ears, open up my eyes and ears. You are saying, let ideas come in that begin to teach me how to recreate my world. I don't like what I see. So now you are activating and saying, hang on, this guy said I'm made in his image. This guy said I, I'm a creator. I'm a co-creator with him. So I can create, I, if, 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 I can reverse anything that I'm not liking in my life. Hallelujah. The capacity is in you. He says you are an overcomer. So he already knows. Some of you, so, you know, I was with a friend as well yesterday who said to me, Oh, you know, this and this, uh, this tragedy happened in my family. I said, sure, another one. And I said, where are you going to get the money? He says, I don't know. God gives me these problems because he knows I've got the capacity. And she keeps on saying, and everybody keeps on asking me to stand in and help. It's because I said, why do you think that is? And I, I love the response. She says, because I can. 
because God trusts me. God has put me in charge clearly to be the glue in my family. God knows that I have the solutions. He says, no, people would not be asking me for money if God did not put it inside of me. He says, the fact that I have to send this money around, that means God knows I'm going to get it from somewhere. And she just kept on telling me a, a testimony, one testimony after the other. She said, I picked up the phone and I told somebody this. And, and you know, when you are living in the dimension of yes, she said, I picked up the phone and I called somebody. I said, oh, I'm standing in the queue. I'm, I'm hungry. If I, if I leave this queue, I'll be too, uh, you know, I'll lose my place in the queue. Uh, can I come to your office and come and eat lunch? And the person said, no, you know, I'd stand there. I'll make sure that I send somebody with lunch, but I'm going to put something in your account. Guess how much was that? If, has, when last somebody sent you 10,000 rands for lunch? Just like that. That is the yes dimension. Let me continue. God, my God. Somebody shout yes, yes. Trust him. Trust him. Hallelujah. Jesus commanded the disciples to not, to not depart from Jerusalem in Acts chapter 1 verse 4. Hallelujah. The Holy Ghost came down and their calling manifested. So the calling came down and manifested where they were gathered. The glory of the disciples manifested and their power till this day has not stopped. Their glory has not stopped. We are still talking about them. Hallelujah. When the power of God descends upon you, you cannot be stopped. Hallelujah. No power can stop the promises of God from manifesting in your life. Even the enemies or your parents cannot stop you. Your enemies or your parents cannot stop the promises of God. You know, there are some children who are born in families where you are feeling even the fight coming from your parents. I did not, I knew that this was happening. It was very far until I met somebody recently whom their mother is trying to block. This person is a professional. And the mother, because feels that every penny or the, the salary of a person, and, and, and listen, remember I said, we must look after our parents. I subscribe to that, right? But where it gets to a point of evil manipulation, where your own parent now begins to perform witchcraft on you because they want you to bring all the money that you're earning. Now we are in a dimension that is a bit dodgy. Oh, Jesus. Am I communicating? So you, you need to understand that the, 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 your enemies can come from any front, if you, even from within your household, because of jealousy, because they, they, they want to, 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 to hoard everything. And that's a shameful thing. So you need to pray. Sometimes some of the people that you are praying and declaring against will be your parents. And that's the truth. I love you, but I, I, I'm not going to tolerate that you do any evil incantations against my, my destiny. No power can stop the manifestation of God. Hallelujah. The manifestation of the promises of God. The other example that we see is the manifestation of God's promises upon Joseph. Joseph knew that he could not be stopped. They tested him. They sold him. He went to prison, but he still landed in the palace. Do you understand that you are un unstoppable? If you are meant for the palace dispensation, you are going to hit the palace, baby. You are going to make it to the palace. They can try and arrest you. They can try and put you in a pit. They can try and do every single thing. They can try and sell you into slavery, but you're going to land in the palace. I know you are trekking the streets and you say, Pastor Fortune, you don't understand. I don't even have a roof over my covering. I don't know where I'm sleeping. Oh my Jesus. Oh my God. I don't, I don't even know where my, my next meal is going to come from. But I want to tell you, you are still meant for that palace experience. If God gave you the promise that you're going to the palace, you are going to the palace. Yes, yes. You are going for your palace experience. God is working something out for you. The secret is when you find out that something is, is not too difficult for you. When you now find out that that thing is, that you thought was so difficult, is, is there's something behind it that is so good, that is working the mechanics of everything, that there is a glory around that difficulty. There is a glory waiting to manifest and it's waiting for your yes. It's waiting for your excitement to say, this thing looks difficult, but my God can do it. My God can do it. My God can resolve it. My God, my God's got your back. Oh, Jesus. I wish I could sing that song. There's a song in my spirit now. It says, I got backing. Or it's, I think it's a Nigerian song. It says, I've got Jesus in my back or something on my side. But anyway, I've got backing. So I can't fall back. Even if I try and fall back, I've got backing. Backing says, no, 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 baby. Push. Let's, let's go forward. Yes, yes. Oh, he's got your back. Anaga Bengale, he's got your back. I've got backing. Oh. 
God is working something out for you. Hallelujah. Believe it. God is working something out. The secret when you find out, when you find out the secret that something behind that difficulty, something about behind that difficulty, there is a glory that is at work. Don't nest your problem. See your glory. Do stop nesting your problem. Stop having pity parties. See the glory. See the magnitude of God. Oh, Kalama Shoto Kodi Amasanda. My fist, I bind you in Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. Joseph understood who he was. Kalaba Shoto Kodi He understood where he was going. He knew that he was going to the palace. He was never discouraged. He kept the faith. Tell your neighbor, keep the faith. Keep the faith. Keep the faith. Hallelujah. He knew where he was going. Know where you're going. Never be discouraged. Work against discouragement. Talk against discouragement. Decree against discouragement. De declare against discouragement. I will not be discouraged. I know where I'm going. I know where I'm meant to be. It may look like I'm an underdog right now. It may look like nobody's calling for me. It may look like nobody's approaching me. It may look like I will never be settled maritally, but I will be settled. I am keeping the faith. I am keeping the faith. Satan, you can keep the doubt. You can keep the fear, but I'm keeping the faith. Amen, somebody. Hallelujah. Understand where you are, who you are, where, what timing are you in? What is the zone? What is he saying? What do you need to tweak? What blessing activation do you need to make? Hallelujah. You need to be a carrier of this blessing. You need to be an activator of this blessing. You need to be a carrier of the promise and you need to birth out this promise. Oh, many people have lost the manifestation of God's promises through ignorance because they don't want to go deeper and understand just because they are said in the Bible, they're not going to manifest until you believe them. Hallelujah. And if they're not going to manifest just because you recite them, you're going to have to actually believe them. You're going to have to be excited and believe them through and through. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The devil specializes in bringing fake blessings to you to prevent you from seeing the original one. He doesn't want you to see the real blessing. Hallelujah. And now you're walking and you're, you are thinking that, oh, this is the blessing, but you, you, it's not it. I don't know why the Holy Spirit wants me to warn somebody around that. It's not it. That door that you just stepped into, the reason why you are unsettled in your spirit, man, is you don't have the peace because it's not God. That God was not op that door was not opened by God. Hallelujah. There are glories and there are glories. Tell your neighbor there are glories and there are glories. Hallelujah. You may be walking in this glory, but I want to tell you, child of God, there are glories and there are glories. You need to man manifest in multiple dimensions of glories. When you are a carrier of God's glory, no bastard can stop it. No power of anybody can stop it. When you are a carrier of God's glory, you went into that marriage with the glory that you, you entered into a new dimension. No baby mama, no baby daddy is going to stop that marriage from manifesting what it's supposed to be. The destiny is supposed to carry in Jesus' mighty name. Nobody is making you back down. You are moving into a new glory dimension in your workplace. Hallelujah. You are moving into a new glory dimension everywhere you are. Nothing is stagnant around me. Protocol breaker God. No stagnancy around us. Everybody who's at the sound of my voice. I command any stagnancy to lose you right now in Jesus' mighty name. Oh, Jesus. I said you are a carrier of glory. Hallelujah. You are a carrier of glory. Hallelujah. You are a carrier of glory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. When you carry the glory of God, tears come to an end. In this lifetime, there's a point where I stop crying. In this lifetime, joy will become your portion in this lifetime. Hallelujah. When God changes the, the story of a man, men will bow. When your story changes, people will start respecting you. People will bow when you pass because something has, something has been loose somewhere. That respect that you've been waiting for, it is coming your way in Jesus' mighty name. The story of Jabez was this kind of story that gives us the template that you understand that he was a man whose story was changed and men bowed before him. Likewise for Joseph, men bowed for Joseph. So if they bowed for Joseph and if they bowed for Jabez, they're going to bow for you, baby. Nations will come and bow. Nations will come to your rising. Kings will come to your rising when you begin to arise and shine because you have activated your promises. Hallelujah. When your story changes, tell your neighbor, my story is going to change. One thing I know is that my story is changing today. 
You need God to activate your certificate for it to work for you. Hallelujah. Thank God you got that education and you got that degree and you got that certificate. Now, God, you look at that certificate and say, God, activate, activate. I did not get the skills for nothing. God, you sent me to school. You helped me to finish. Now, God, activate. You need what God has deposited inside of you to shine. Hallelujah. There was no election. There was no campaign that was conduct conducted before Joseph became entered the palace. Hallelujah. Be before he became the prime minister, there was no election. Hallelujah. I'm talking about ground breaking manifestation of promises where there shall not be. There will be a breaking of protocols. There won't be an application process. This thing is not a contest. There's no voting that is happening here. Your story is changing on the basis of protocols that are being broken for you. You are being accelerated to the front. Oh my God. Oh, you guys, you don't understand. Do you understand that I went, oh God, I went to a funeral last week in another province in South Africa. It was, I, I, I don't want to, to, to mention names, but it was, you, you might have seen it in, in, on TV. It was somebody very, very, very big in the military. And minding my own business, let me tell you the story. It's very, very hilarious. One of the things that was there, there was a station, a clinic, like there was this mobile clinics. And I decided, oh, let's just go and check out that. You know, like somebody, the person we were traveling with said, oh, I've just got uh, tablets for flu. And it was very cold. And, and, and typically, you know, obviously people were worried we're going to catch cold one way or the other. So we now walked to the same place and we got there and there was load shedding. There was no electricity. So we got there. We were speaking to one of the doctors and we said, oh, we are sick. And then she said, what's wrong with you? I said, we looked at each other with one of these other pastor that I was with. And we giggled because, you know, when you get to the point where you can't lie anymore, you just can't lie with a straight face anymore. And this doctor, says, I, we said, uh, we think, we think, we think we've got flu. And she probably knew that we were just playing around, right? But the, let me frustrate the storytelling so that I can, you can understand the breakthrough. Now, in the process of talking, now she now starts telling us about how they work in the military and everything. And... Nevertheless, the bottom line is that a connection was made, right? And this lady says, now makes an invitation. An invitation that yesterday there were three positions that I was, I received a WhatsApp asking me to send her somebody who wants a job with a BCom graduate. If you're still here, I'm 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 for you. If you're here, I, I did send yesterday, but I I I there's room. She asked me for a BCom graduate. She asked me for a marketing and communication specialist. I can't remember the third role. This was somebody who was saying, the closing date is already passed, but if you send this to me, you can send to the email address at the bottom, but in case the person does not receive it, you can also send it to me. Now, what is that, guys? Is that not favor? Is that not grace in operation? Do you understand? This is somebody that I met. Because some of you, you go to places you don't want to talk to people. Me, through my attempted lying, God just made a promise manifest, honestly. There was another break. There's so many things that came out from that conversation, from that person sharing. Because when I was sharing, this is the beauty of it. And I said, you know what, Ma? We came here, we were actually joking, but we just wanted to come and get free medication for the fun of it. And she said, no, you came to meet your destiny helper. See God. She said, you came to meet your destiny helper because there was something that I wanted to do in her organization. And she opened the door for me. Now I know that person. Hallelujah. Oh, Jesus. She opened the door. She said, I'm available. Now, now, now just imagine some people still have to pray for their destiny helpers. Ah, the steps were directed, Mom Sophie. I promise you, I was shocked. And she said, you know, it, what broke me when you see that God will catch you in a lie. I, I have gotten to the point that I realized there are certain things I cannot act stupidly in public anymore. I cannot do certain things. Look, I'm very free. I'm a very free person. Sometimes I dance uncontrollably. But you, I cannot get to a place and do harm and not be realized or be recognized. So I've made up my mind. This lady, when I was busy saying, we think we have flu and we were giggling, 
she asked me the question, where do you fellowship? And I'm like, why do you ask that? And then my friend says, she's a pastor. And I said, she's also a pastor. So now this woman is already arranging women's programs for us to come and preach. She says, I'm a child of God. And I believe that God has put me in this organization so that I open up doors. So I may not be granting the positions, but I'm going to make sure that applications of children of God get to where they need to get to. Oh, praise the Lord. Let me get back to my teaching and, and praying. Ah, the steps of a right of a righteous man, they are ordered by the Lord. Hallelujah. May the Lord order your steps similarly. May the Lord order your steps to connect you to people that in, in, a, in a casual conversation, you may be meeting your destiny helper, that they will just accelerate. Guys, you see what I'm telling you when I say respect everybody. This was somebody very high up. I could see with her uniform, she was very high up. And there I was in my joking self talking to my destiny helper. She did not even hesitate. She said it plainly to me. She said, I'm your destiny helper. He says, God brought you here. You did not come because you are sick. You are not sick. I can see you are not sick. You are here because I am your destiny helper. Jesus. No election and no campaign. I said, Megan, there shall be no election and no campaign. Oh, Jesus. Keep tapping on that screen. For the promises of God to manifest in your life, God can cause confusion in the palace that intends to make you a solution to it. So in that palace, there shall be confusion so that you can be brought in to bring an answer, to come and bring interpretation of dreams. Jesus. Oh my God. <laughs> Guys, I, I don't want, for the sake of time, I'm left with six minutes, so I need to wrap up. But I can tell you stories for days that can raise your faith. There was a day I came back from church. I was so discouraged. There was something that was just heavy in my spirit. And I met up with my friend in one of the restaurants and I sat down and I was like, and I could, you know, I was trying not to cry in public. And, and I just, and, and I said to her, I just said, I said, just pray for me. The next thing, this lady comes of European descent, very, very famous lady comes and prays. He says, I've also felt worn out in ministry. And she keeps on talking, but I don't realize because she dyed her hair. And she says, do you remember this event? You know, she says, what? Um, oh, I forget something, Africa. Like there was this big, big, you know, she now starts mentioning big revivals, big, um, big conferences, not even conference. I'm talking about revivals. Who is uh, like at the, re re at, at the level of Reynard Bonke? I'm talking about somebody who has ministered on stages like that, who just left their, re their table eating lunch to come and pray for me. He says, God just told me to come and sit here with you and talk anywhere. Hey, somebody share, share, share with your, your neighbor and say yes to the Lord. I'm saying yes to the promises of God. Hallelujah. So God will cause confusion because when it is your palace moment is your palace moment. God can use any means for his promise to manifest in your life. Any means, no election, no campaign, Mom Kathy. No election, no campaign. Yes. Declare it. No election, no campaign. Joseph was sure of what he was carrying. When God promises you, there's a confidence he will give you. There's a confidence that God gives you and fear will be abolished in Jesus' mighty name. There was an exchange of power. There was an exchange of wealth. There was an exchange of glory for you. Do you understand that these things happen for you, Nuashe? It happened for you, Vimbai. When the manifestation of God's promise is about to be established, power must change hands. Oh, Jesus. Somebody shouted again. Shouted in the comment section, power must change hands. When there's a manifestation of promises, power must change hands. Oh, Jesus. Thank you. You led me to this point. This is a power must change hands protocol breaking session. Power must change hands. Oh, Jesus. God promised that he wouldn't destroy the world with flood again. God promised Abraham that all the land that he sees, he will give him. My question to you this morning is what do you see? Hallelujah. What you see is what you receive. The question again is what do you see? Ask your neighbor, what do you see? What do you see? As far as your eyes can take you, that have I given unto you. As far as the stars that you can see, I have given them to you. Hallelujah. As far as you can see, what do you see? I'm asking LRT Global, what do you see? 
Nka, what do you see? Mam Sophie, what do you see? Unista, what do you see? Rispa, what do you see? Ovi, what do you see? What do you see? Do you see yourself as a failure or do you see yourself as a non-entity? If you see yourself as a failure and a non-entity, that is exactly what you will be. Don't be a tenant, a, 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 a useless tenant. Don't be a, a wasteful tenant. If you are going to be a tenant, be a good tenant. So that at the time when the power changes hands, when God changes the, 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 the hands change power and you become the landlord, you will be honored with good tenants as well. Jesus, my God. Be faithful in the things that God has entrusted to you. Your boss leaves you in charge of your workplace. Be faithful. Treat that, your, that business as if it is your own. <clears throat> Hallelujah. Treat that business, treat whatever has been entrusted in your hands. If you are a tenant, treat that house as if it's your own. Look after the business, look after your careers as if you are the one who is getting the profits and the dividends, as if you are the shareholder. Don't be just like acting like a salary. People who get promotions are people who act like shareholders. That cleaner, if you are cleaning toilets and you are cleaning the offices, clean them as if you are the shareholder. Clean them as if you were cleaning your own house. Hallelujah. When God gives you your own, you will want people who will treat them with the same respect. Talk to me, somebody. Be faithful and treat them as your own and God will give you yours in the right season. Hallelujah. Ah, Kadia Masoto Kodia. Who's that? I see a successful businesswoman. Oh, Pell Gugu. Oh, yes, my namesake. You are in Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. Maintain everything that God has given you, even though they, they, they might not belong to you right now. Right now, God is going to give you your own thing. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Your culture of maintenance will determine how heaven will maintain you. I just said something powerful there. I said your culture on how you maintain things will determine heaven, how heaven will maintain you. How heaven will be your blesser. You want to be maintained by heaven. How are you maintaining what has been given to you? Hallelujah. Maintain the standard of God in your life. Maintain your house uh, where you rest your head with the standard of God. Hallelujah. Where you rest your head, which is the center of your destiny. Maintain your house. Determine that your house shall be the house of the Lord. As far as you and your house are concerned and the people who are living there, you will serve the Lord. Don't see your government. See God. Don't see the challenges of load shedding. See God. I know that one is a bit difficult to consume for some of us in South Africa. Hallelujah. But I'm, I choose not to see the problems of government. I see God. Hallelujah. What do you see? What you see manifests in your life. What you see is what you achieve. What you see is what you achieve. Hallelujah. I ask you again, Abena, what do you see? Caroline, what do you see? Norma, what do you see? Meza, what do you see? Flaxidic, what do you see? Bunke, what do you see? Brenda, what are you seeing? I want you to declare right now. I, I, when I'm asking you what you're seeing right now, I'm asking you your request, basically. I'm asking you to declare. I'm right there. I'm about to pray and finish. Hallelujah. When you see the glory of God versus the trouble and the fear that is trying to rise up in your heart, you, you begin to understand that you now begin to repel the fear. Hallelujah. Fear, whenever fear is present, it repels power. But what we want to release this morning is the power that will repel the fear. Hallelujah. Fear cannot allow the promises of God to manifest in your life. So you need to get rid of fear. Tell your neighbor, get rid of fear. Say, fear, I repel you. Fear, go in Jesus' mighty name. The Lord says, I promise to supply all your needs according to my riches in glory hallelujah i've got what it takes i own the cattle on the thousand hills everything belongs to me god can use anything to bless you he says i will supply your needs hallelujah he promised you divine health he says i have promised you divine healing isaiah 53 verse 5 he promises you divine health in exodus 15 26 these egyptians you will not see anymore hallelujah he promises, he says, I will not forget you. I will not forget you. And I will not forsake you. Isaiah 49, 15. He promises, he says, I will show you everlasting kindness in the book of Isaiah 54. Do you understand that I'm in a prophetic book that I'm just, I'm just pushing through these prophetic promises. Oh, Jesus. Everlasting kindness. Hallelujah. He says, I have given you divine prosperity. I wish above all things that you prosper and be in good health, even as your soul prospers. Hallelujah. Third epistle of St. John chapter 1 verse 2. Hallelujah. He says, I have pro promised you a comforter that when I leave, another shall come. That is the Holy Ghost. I'm in the book of Acts right now. The Holy Ghost that is the comforter, the advocate, the teacher that will give you direction, that will give you the initiative. You don't need to go train somewhere else. I'm the Holy Ghost. I will teach you. I will show you all things. Hallelujah. 
He says, I will give you eternal life. Hallelujah. In hope of eternal life in the book of Titus. He says, in hope of eternal life, which God who cannot lie promised before time began. He's a God that cannot lie. I have given you a hope of eternal life. Therefore, you can rest in the promise of eternal life. I have given you the promise of wisdom in the book of James chapter 1 verse 5. Talk to me, somebody. What do you see? You see, Wakadi Amasonda. I love it, honey. You are getting that marriage in Jesus' mighty name. I have given you the promise that none shall be barren again in the name of Jesus Christ. What does hinder the manifestation of God, of, of the promises of God, Pastor Fortune, very quickly? Double-mindedness. He doesn't want a person who is double-mindedness. If you are going to have unbelief, he does not like that. Hallelujah. What will hinder the manifestation of the promises of God, Pastor Fortune? Your relationship. Your relationships determine where you are going in life. Who are you associated with? Who is bringing you down? Who is bringing the stink in your life? Who is slowing you down? Who is delaying you? Who is that wrong foundation? Hallelujah. Pride will bring you uh, uh, to a point of not manifesting your promises. Pride. Be careful of pride. Be careful of impatience. Hallelujah. Most be believers are not patient with God. God can never break his covenant with anyone. God, God's time is not our time. And we need to understand that when God is still processing us, when things, when he knows you cannot handle, he knows you that you cannot even, man, you don't even have the personal finance skills to manage 1 million. Why would he give you 1 billion? It's not practical. Some, some of the things that when we pray for, we need to apply wisdom. Am I equipped for this? Hallelujah. 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 How do you activate the problem? The, sorry, the last one I wanted to mention that sin in your life, when you miss the mark, when you miss the mark, when you continuously miss the mark in sin. Hallelujah. So you need to be born again. You need to activate your faith. You need to be a hospitable person. Hospitality opened up the door for me. Oh, the hospitality opened up for the door for me. I did not carry myself as the, oh, I'm pastor. You have to serve me now. No. I came there humble as, I don't know what, humble as what, humble as pie. Yes, I think that's what the saying says. I was humble as pie. And look at it now. I didn't know I was connecting myself. I was a reservoir that was being opened now. And now some, some child who's got a BCom is going to get that job. Some child who's got a marketing and communications degree is going to get a job. He's going to, she's going to be settled. All because I chose to be humble. Let go of pride. Oh, I see God. I see God. I want you to say in the comment section, what do you see God doing? Hallelujah. Locate that word. Locate that promise. Search the promises of God in the word and pray over it. Oh my God. Am I finishing? Hallelujah. Which scripture am I on now? Numbers 23 verse 19 says, God is not a man that he should lie, neither the son of man that he should repent. Have he said it and shall he not do it? Or have he spoken it and shall he not make it good? He will make it good. Let's pray quickly. Hallelujah. Every stranger in my body, every stranger in my life that is are not allowing the promises of God to manifest first right now i command you to come out in the mighty name of jesus christ lord let diseases and sickness leave us oh god there are some people who are being held back because your you you diseases you you're affected you want to do a particular job the holy spirit is saying but you are limited because there are there are things in your body in your in your spine your spine, they've been telling you, you cannot do certain things. Hallelujah. But you want to go into that specific thing, that specific career. Hallelujah. I'm speaking to somebody, somebody specific. If that's you, you can say that's me. You, you, you keep on wanting to say, I want to provide for my family. But anytime there's somebody else, you, you want to provide for your family. You want to work, but you can't go to work because anytime you're supposed to start, it's like something goes wrong. It's like you, your body, you start getting sick. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Mm. Mm. Really, Abena? See Holy Ghost. Jesus. Thank you for confirming, Lord. By the power in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, we recover all that we have lost for all the years in Jesus' mighty name. Ah, Mom Sophie, am I talking about you? Jesus. When I said that prayer, I did not know why I was, the way I even said it, I, my God, Holy Spirit, you are faithful. When I was saying every stranger in my body, I wanted to say every stranger in my life. And when I uttered those words, but thank you, Holy Spirit, for pointing it out. And even you, Mom Kathy. Mm. 
every stranger in your body in the mighty name of Jesus Christ that is not allowing you to manifest the promises of God. I command you to come out and die in Jesus' mighty name right now. I speak to that spinal cord, Mom Kathy. I speak to that spinal cord, Sophie, right now in the name of Jesus Christ. I command that stranger to die. That thing, that affliction, it must go right now in Jesus' name. It must go out right now in Jesus' mighty name. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Can you thank him, please? Can you help me thank him? Thank the Lord. Can you help thank the Lord? Tag in, tag, tag, tag in, that, in that comment section and say, thank you, Lord, for Mom Kathy's healing. Thank you, Lord, for Mom Sophie's healing right now in Jesus' mighty name. Total healing. I need you to declare and command total healing for Mom Kathy. Total healing for Mom, um, Mom Sophie right now in Jesus' mighty name. In Jesus, I mentioned their names. I'm, I've given you their names, Sophie and Kathy, right now in Jesus' mighty name. Sophie and Kathy, we thank the Lord for your healing. We thank the Lord for your healing in Jesus' mighty name. By the power in the name of Jesus Christ, they are recovering the lost years. They are recovering their lost destinies in Jesus' mighty name. Every single person who's praying for Mom Kathy, every single person who's praying for Mom Sophie right now in Jesus' mighty name. Father, we ask you for the perfection of their destinies in Jesus' mighty name right now. I'm teaching you a principle right now as I'm asking you to pray for them. Let me tell you what I do to unlock certain desert places. When I find that I'm in a desert place and things that I don't, I, I want in my life are not manifesting, I start praying for other people. I make it, I, I actually go, I, I will send a WhatsApp and say, send me your prayer requests. Give me a problem that I need to solve. So when you are doing this, you are planting seeds. I'm teaching you to plant seeds and I'm teaching you to release what God, God has says, these signs shall follow them that believe. So I'm asking you to believe with them and you are standing in these signs are following them. Signs and wonders. You are children who are meant for signs and wonders. The miraculous is happening in your life as you are declaring it for them. Kathy and Sophie right now in Jesus mighty name. Oh, thank you, Lord Jesus. Father, the forces of darkness in our parents' house that is not allowing our promises to manifest, our promises in God right now, release us in Jesus' mighty name. I don't know whether they are altars from your father's house or your mother's house that are fighting you, like in that example that I gave you, where a mother was performing witchcraft on their child because they wanted to manipulate their salary. Right now, I speak to those forces of darkness that are manipulating parents into manipulating their children, that are saying that they will not allow their children the manifestation of their promises promises to, to manifest in their life. Right now, they are being released from it. You are being released from that in Jesus' mighty name. That thing is going to die. That force of darkness is dying right now in Jesus' mighty name. Every evil eye that is monitoring your prosperity, I declare and I decree the promises of God in your life. Whoever is monitoring those promises right now, that monitoring spirit, I speak to you right now. Be blinded forever in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Every evil embargo of limitation in your life, I declare and I declare it is being lifted in your life right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Can I hear a resounding amen? Can I hear a resounding yes? Can you shout that yes louder? Can you shout that amen well? Can you shout that amen well? I told you the first response is what matters. The first excitement, that is what matters. What men cannot do, God will do it for you today. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I decree and I declare that the Lord will visit you today. Noah, the Lord will visit you. What God cannot do, oh, my dear what men cannot do, rather, God will do for you today. What men Men cannot do God will do for you today in the name of Jesus Christ there shall be no more delay in the promises of God concerning your life in the name of Jesus Christ what God promised for you in the past year shall manifest for you even in this year in the name of Jesus Christ the promises of January will manifest in today hallelujah whatever is pending from February will manifest today whatever is pending from March up until now it will manifest today in the name of Jesus Christ I declare and I decree that you will manifest your story will change in the next 24 four hours in the name of Jesus Christ. That opportunity that you have been waiting for will manifest in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I decree and I declare for all of you on Facebook, YouTube, and TikTok, and everybody who will watch this replay from whatever corner of the earth that you will come from right now, you shall not die before the promises of God will manifest in your life. The promises that God have meant for you will manifest. Hallelujah. 
nations will bow before you. There will be confusion in the palace and the presidency that will cause them to look for you. They will come looking for you. That place, uh, let me speak to that somebody. The Holy Spirit is saying uh, you were fired from your job, but they're going to call you back because they're going to realize that you are the only person that can do that thing. Hallelujah. Talk to me, somebody. That is your palace that is calling you back in the name of Jesus Christ. My God, I say every delay of prosperity, it is being terminated right now. Yes, yes. Uh, amen and amen. Yes. Yes, yes, amen and amen. Every delay of prosperity is being terminated right now in the name of Jesus Christ. As from today, the Lord will give you a sign of your promises in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Begin to receive the manifestation of God's promises over your life. Begin to receive the promises and the manifestation of those promises in every area of your life. Right now, in the next three days, you will receive fresh opportunities in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Those fresh opportunities will change your story. Who's receiving that? Who's running with that word? Hallelujah. In the next three days, fresh opportunities, fresh opportunities, God. You've been chasing the same opportunities you've been getting. No, no, no. The Lord says, I'm bringing fresh opportunities. I'm shifting the focus. I'm closing that door. They don't, if they're delaying in saying yes, you've presented, you've pitched, you've pitched, you've pitched, and they keep on delaying their yes. Right now, the Lord says, I'm bringing a fresh opportunity. It will be an instant yes. As from now on, God will lift your head up in the presence of your enemies. I said the Lord will lift your, prayer, your your head up in the presence of your enemies. Father, we say yes to every word that you have spoken over our lives in the name of Jesus Christ. Uh, even though it has been, uh, whether it's been uh, spoken over prophecy, oh God, whether it came out as a word, as a teaching, oh God. Father, my God, we thank you, Lord. It is yes and amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Fresh opportunities collect for you in Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. Some of you have been trying to sell the same thing to the same person for too long. Thank you so much. You've been selling the same thing and they've been telling you next month, next month, I'm going to do it next month. The Lord says, don't go back to them. Change your focus. The Lord is bringing new customers. Mm. Not a word failed of any good thing which the Lord had spoken to the house of Israel. All came to pass. Joshua chapter 21 verse 45. Stand on that. Go and write that, that, write that down and go read it. He says, not a word failed. There's nothing that failed. Not, a, not one word failed of any good thing. Any good thing that has been spoken over your life, it will come pa to pass. Hallelujah. I pray the Lord will help you. And the Lord will help you to believe like David. The Lord will help you to believe like Mary. The Lord will help you to believe like Hannah. Hallelujah. One that the Lord will help you to believe like David. Mary said, behold, the handmaiden of the Lord, be it unto me according to their word. And the angel departed from her. Be it unto me as you have commanded. Hallelujah. According to thy word. Hallelujah. Declare it in the comment section. I want you to type it up again and say, according to thy word, be it unto me. According to thy word, Lord. According to thy word. According to thy word. I declare and I decree that it's going to be according to thy word. Father, I admit that my heart and faith sometimes might shake. I, I admit that I may find it hard to dif difficult to believe. Lord, I ask you to help my unbelief. Begin to pray to him and say, Lord, help my unbelief. My father, help our unbelief. Sometimes we are shaken. Sometimes because of time, we, or sometimes because of impatience, we, we, we are tempted to, 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 to venture into unbelief. Help our unbelief, oh God, in Jesus' mighty name. The Bible says in Mark chapter 9, Jesus said to him, if you can believe that all things are possible to him that believeth, oh, and straight away the father of the child cried out and said with tears, Lord, I believe, help my unbelief. Hallelujah. Say it to him. If you know that you have been shaking there and there, say, Lord, help my unbelief. Help my unbelief. Oh, Rabba Shata Kadiabaha. Fill me with the spirit of faith, O oh God. Fill me with the spirit of faith, O oh God. Oh, shakata kadia masoto kodia ha. La kosoto kodia meseke teke dia baha. Somebody say it again. Help my unbelief. Reke shikola masoto kodia baha. Rashoto kodia masonda da 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 baha. Li kasoto kodia meseke teke dia maha. Rasoto kodi masoto kodi he la koshiko takadi abasanda. Fill me with your spirit of faith, O God. Fill me with the spirit of faith. Begin to declare and call the spirit of faith to come on you, to overwhelm you right now. Fill me with your spirit of faith, O God. We having that same spirit of faith, according as it written, I believed and therefore I spoke. We also believe and therefore we speak, knowing that which he that 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 he which raised up Jesus Christ and shall also raise us up. Also, hallelujah. 
Hallelujah. And shall present us with you. Let me read that scripture again. 2 Corinthians chapter 4, verse 13 to 14. It says, we are having the same spirit according as it is written. I believed, therefore I spoke because of your belief and that is why you are speaking. Everything that you are speaking right now shall come to pass in the name of Jesus Christ. He says, I believe and therefore have I spoken. We also believe and therefore speak, knowing that he who raised Jesus Christ from the dead shall also raise us up hallelujah and present us with you. Hallelujah. Now we are being presented with him. Hallelujah. Help my unbelief, oh God. I believe and therefore I speak. I believe I speak. I believe I speak. Everything that I believe I will speak. And everything that I speak with my mouth from the point of belief is going to manifest in the name of Jesus Christ. I want you to pray this next prayer and say, Lord, fill me with hope, oh Lord. Fill me with hope, all joy. Fill me with joy in believing in your spirit. Fill me with hope and fill me with joy in Jesus' mighty name. The God of all hope will fill you with all joy and peace in believing that you may abound in hope through the power of the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. That's Romans 15, 13. Hallelujah. My Father, Thank you, Lord, that your word has gone forth this morning. How am I doing for time? Oh, I'm too overspent. Hallelujah. In Jesus' mighty name. It will not fall to the ground. The word of the Lord will not fall to the ground. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, do as you have said in Jesus' mighty name. Your words will not fall to the ground. Hallelujah. Be it unto me according to your word. I believe and I receive in Jesus' mighty name. Everybody who is sitting at the sound of my voice right now, believe and receive. Hallelujah. It shall be done unto you according to his word. Hallelujah. In Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. Then said the Lord unto me, thou hast well seen, for I will hasten my word to perform it. Hallelujah. He says he's hastening his word to perform it. Hallelujah. In hope and in joy, I move forward in my belief. Hallelujah. Lord, I believe, I believe all things are possible when I believe. Hallelujah. When you are involved, I believe and I know all things are possible. Hallelujah. With men, it might be impossible, but with God, it is possible. I pray for you this morning. Father, your word itself will find its yes. Hallelujah. In me, in Jesus mighty name. Your your word, the word of the Lord will find a yes in you right now as you type that resounding yes right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. We are believers in Christ. Christ lives inside of us. Hallelujah. Your, found, your word has found a yes inside us in Jesus' mighty name. All the promises are yes and amen to us in Jesus' mighty name. Father, we rejoice at your word as one that has found great spoil. Yes, Lord, we have found our spoil this morning. We feast at your word this morning. We rejoice in your word this morning because we know that you are sustaining our lives, oh God, with power in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We are rejoicing at your word in Jesus' mighty name. The Lord is going to quicken you this morning according to his word in the name of Jesus Christ. Therefore, we will cleave to his words with all that is in us in Jesus' mighty name. We are cleaving to you, mighty Jesus. Father, we thank you. Your word is the ultimate power that we need. Your promises are the ultimate that we need and they are manifesting in us in Jesus' mighty name. Our hearts will be found in belief in Jesus' mighty name. We will not be shaken. Hallelujah. Help us to believe, oh God, for the eyes of the Lord run to and fro throughout the whole earth to show himself strong on the behalf of those who are or whose hearts are perfect towards him. Hallelujah. May our heart be, be found to be perfect towards your God. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I pray for every single person that is at the sound of my voice, that their hearts will be motivated in the right direction in Jesus' mighty name. Their hearts will be found perfect towards you and get towards you in their belief system of God. May they not be shaken. Their faith shall not be shaken in Jesus' mighty name. Father, Lord, I thank you, Lord, that you are creating a hunger for your word in every single person who's at the sound of my voice. Lord, that they will love your presence in Jesus' mighty name. Nothing will be able to take away their blessings in Jesus' mighty name. Nothing will take away their manifestation of their promises in Jesus' mighty name. Blessed are they who do hunger for righteousness and thirst after righteousness. Hallelujah. For they shall be filled. I declare and I decree that you will be filled this morning in Jesus' mighty name. I decree that Colette, you will be filled in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Abena, you will be filled in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, we receive the grace to wait, to see the fulfillment of your word. Father, God, we will not miss our time. We will not miss our opportunities because of impatience. But Father, we receive the grace to wait. We will see the fulfillment of your word in our patience in Jesus' mighty name. Every single word that you have spoken out of your word of God in your Bible and in this broadcast. So God, Father, it will manifest in Jesus' mighty name. Oh, Kariya Masanda, if a man shall die, shall live again all the days of, of his appointed time, that he will wait, his change will come. Father, we declare and we decree, Lord, as with Job, oh God, that we will wait, our change will come. Our change will come in Jesus' mighty name.
Give me four minutes and I'm done. Hallelujah. Lord, I pray. I pray for them right now. Lord, help us to receive the discipline and self-control to have patience, oh God. Let, has, let, 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 let us have the discipline of patience. Somebody declaring in the, in the comment section, I have patience with God. I have patience with God. That patience will keep you on the path of fulfillment. That patience will keep you on the path of manifestation in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Yes, Vimbai, thank you. You got it. You caught it in the spirit. You have the grace to wait. Hallelujah. In Jesus' mighty name. Father, they will stay in faith in Jesus' mighty name. I declare and I decree that you will not only stay in faith, but you will walk in faith. You will talk faith. You will walk and talk faith. You will stay in faith in Jesus' mighty name by the power of the Holy Spirit. You will not be slothful, but you will be followers of them through faith and patience who will inherit the promises of God. Through faith and patience, you will inherit the promises of God. Hallelujah. God, we will not fall into the temptation. Hallelujah. Of pressure. Pressure shall not make you fall into temptation in Jesus' mighty name. The Lord will make sure that you will not give up in Jesus' mighty name. I want you to pray and ask him, Lord, give me the strength not to give up. Give me the strength not to lose hope in Jesus' mighty, mighty name. In my waiting season, in my waiting room, let me not give up. Let me not lose hope. I'm holding on to hope in Jesus' mighty name. Against hope, I believe in hope. Help us not to go seek the help somewhere else. Help us not to go to altars that will backfire on us in Jesus' mighty name. Help us not to go to men or, or women that are false, that are going to steal our stars and, and exchange our crowns. Help us not to go to hands that will exchange our destinies, oh God. Let us come to you, oh God, and seek help only from you. Help us that in, in our waiting season, in our, in, in our praying season where we are praying for help, oh God, we will not go seek alternatives, oh God, but we will wait for your manifestation of your promises in Jesus mighty name. Ora kalia masonda kalia basanda. The Bible says in the book of 2 Chronicles, it says, At that time did King Ahaz send unto the kings of Assyria to help him. For the Lord brought Judah low because of Ahaz, king of Israel. For he made Judah naked and transgressed so against the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. What is the Lord saying here? Hallelujah, Pastor Fortune. He's saying, do not go seek help elsewhere. Hallelujah. Do not go seek alternatives elsewhere. He says, I'm going to come through for you in Jesus' mighty name. May you uphold and keep us strong, O God. May you uphold us and keep us strong, Lord. Not to lose your word, not to lose hope in your word, O God, in Jesus' mighty name. I want you to say, Lord, count, count me in, count me in, count me in on that manifestation. When you say count me in, that you will manifest. Your promises shall manifest. The Lord shall count you in. Count me in. I'm on it. I'm on it. I'm on it. And I'm in it with you all the way, God. I'm not going elsewhere for help. I'm not misdirecting my focus. I'm count me in, God. I'm with you all the way. Lord, make your word sweet in my spirit like honey. Let, let your word be sweet like honey in my spirit. Hallelujah. Send the light that I need. Send the help that I need. Hallelujah. Oh, Lord of hosts, hasten, hasten the, 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 the answers, oh God. Count me in, oh God. Count me in, you shall not faint. I decree and I declare that you will not faint in Jesus' mighty name. You will not faint. You will not fall into iniquity in the name of Jesus Christ. Iniquity will not hinder you. Iniquity, iniquity will not postpone the fulfillment of the promises of God in Jesus' mighty name. Oh my God, let me close. Oh, Rabba Shikonda, count me in, Lord, count me in. I will manifest. Somebody declare it. I will manifest. Count, count, count me in. I will manifest. I will manifest. I'm being kept by the power of God through faith and to salvation. Hallelujah. I'm ready to be revealed. I'm ready to manifest. I'm ready to manifest. I'm ready to manifest. Come on, talk to me. I'm ready to manifest in Jesus' mighty name. You will be filled with the spirit, be filled with the spirit. Hallelujah. Be filled with the spirit, be filled with the spirit. You will manifest. I will manifest. Come on, declare it and comment in that comment section. Oh, we will not be drunk in wine where in there is excess, but we will be filled with the spirit and we will manifest. We will be filled with the spirit and we will manifest. Father, I pray and ask for the release and the spirit of grace. Right now, I pray for the spirit of grace to be released right now in Jesus mighty name. I pray for the spirit of wisdom to be released to everybody who's at the sound of my voice, who joined us on this broadcast, those that joined us in halfway of the broadcast that will watch the replay as well, oh God, in Jesus' mighty name. Father, release the spirit of revelation so that we may know and believe in the power of God. Let us not lose track of the promises that you have given in us in Jesus' mighty name. Father, we declare and we decree that we will manifest. We will see and believe in your power. We will not be shaken in Jesus' mighty name. We say, Lord, let your will be done. Let your will be done in our lives. Honey, let your will be done. 
let the Lord's will be done in your life in Jesus mighty name. The Lord of hosts has sworn it surely as I have, as, as I have thought, so shall it come to pass as I have proposed it. So shall it stand Isaiah 14, 24, as you have proposed it in your heart. So shall it stand in Jesus mighty name. Thank you so much guys for praying with me this morning. Thank you so much for joining the broadcast. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I think you are very rooted this morning on the promises of God and understanding how to activate them. Hallelujah. I urge you to go and continue to activate the promises. Anytime you feel shaken in any platform at any time, go and look for the word that speaks to your situation. Go and look at the promise that is speaking to your issue. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. As you continue to give yourself to prayers more and more, I'm sure I've had so many testimonies that people are saying that my spirit life has been activated. My spirit man is awake. I have never prayed so much. I, 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 I pray for you that you grow spiritually. Hallelujah. May God even give you more tongues. May God give you the gift of revelation. May all the gifts of the Holy Spirit that God has just package just for you start to manifest hallelujah in jesus mighty name you must not quit quit praying especially don't quit praying the prayers of thanksgiving keep on thanking him thank him in advance thank him in advance there's a time to war you know when i when i'm in the mood of spiritual warfare we war but there's also time to thanks to thank him so give him thanks right now thank the lord right now thank him the reason is because when god's word has gone forth all you need to say or all way, all you you need to stay and wait is to stay and wait until it manifests. Hallelujah! Your faith needs to express itself through thanksgiving. So, for the word that has gone forth to stay with you, and to help you through your waiting season, is through your thanksgiving. When your language changes to thanksgiving, the more you give him thanks, the more you give him thanks. Please make sure you are following the platform that you are watching me from and you are turning on the notification bell quickly before you leave the broadcast, before I switch off. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Another thing that will keep you strong and going, uh, you know, going on and going forward all the time when you are waiting on the manifestation on, of the promises of God is staying filled with the Holy Spirit right by praying in the spirit so those of you who are not uh, who are not speaking in tongues yet right now i want you to stand in the gap or i'm standing in the gap with for you i'm going to pray for you right now but you must be born again if you're not born again i want you to say this prayer i want you to 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 to, to follow after me as i say this prayer sometimes i say it too fast i'm trying to speak very slowly when sometimes when i try and speak slowly my my thoughts are already far ahead of me father in the mighty name of jesus christ i pray for every single person that is on this broadcast those who are not born again right now father i confess with my mouth as i've believed in my heart that jesus is the son of god that Jesus died and indeed, Lord, he was buried and Lord, he was raised on the third day that he is the son of God. And by his resurrection on that third day, I was buried and resurrected with him. And my life is changing by virtue of that, of inviting him and calling him to live inside my heart and to be Lord over my life. Right now, Jesus, I invite you be Lord over my life. I declare that you are my king from today. Rule my God. I declare that I'm blessed and I'm not cursed in Jesus mighty name. I declare and I decree that I'm born again. I'm a child of God. I'm saved by the blood of Jesus Christ. From today, the blood of Jesus will continue to speak to me and for me. Father, as I transition from my journey, from being born again from today, right now, Lord, I ask that you baptize me with the Holy Ghost with the evidence of speaking in tongues, that my mind will not try to comprehend or to try to make sense of what I'm saying. But God, you will give me the words and the speech, oh God, in Jesus' mighty name. Baptize me with the Holy Ghost. Baptize my, my tongue. Let, the, let my tongue be a tongue of fire in Jesus' mighty name. As I start this journey to understand and know you more, to grow in your word and, and in praying and in fellowship with you, I worship you. I vow to worship you. I vow to grow and learn your word even more in Jesus' mighty name. Father, as I grow in my spirit, man, thank you, Lord. And I will be baptized by the immersion of in water in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. If you've prayed that prayer, please say amen. Hallelujah. If you've prayed that prayer, inbox me. If you want to be baptized again in water, hallelujah, inbox me. We will give you a location, hallelujah, where you will go, whatever 
wherever you are. Hallelujah. If you are in South Africa, we'll tell you where to come through. We're going to have a water baptism very soon. Um, so we will baptize you if you've said that. If, if you are born again and you've never been baptized, please make sure that you also, um, you know, reach out and we will have one big baptism. Hallelujah. God bless you. Thank you so much, guys. If I continue talking, you know, I will never finish, but oh my God, we've already gone to 631. My apologies for those who are going to work. I think some of you are already at your workplaces. Hallelujah. But those of you who are here, we still have some chit chat and we'll just, um, check in with each other those of you who are going to work you're welcome to 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 just jump off god bless everybody on facebook and on um youtube as well thank you so much i'm about to stop the broadcast there if you want to hang out and chat a little bit more for a few more minutes you can jump onto fortunel online on uh, tiktok guys please make sure you are following um pastor fortune Fortune L online, Mara official, Takunda Mara. Um, somebody will, uh, I think I'll come in and put in um, the social media handles, but in the profiles there on TikTok, there's the links to the YouTube channel. Go and follow me on the YouTube and on um, Instagram. You can watch the replay of this broadcast already and other broadcasts on Fortune L online, on Fortune L online, and also on Takunda Mara. There is a broadcast that is going to be uploaded um, in the next hour. So, but immediately this one, immediately when we shut down here, the replay will already be there. God bless you, uh, Facebook and um, YouTube. See you at 10 p.m. tonight, 10 p.m. tonight with the session of Apostle Mara. And otherwise, I see you tomorrow at 5 a.m. Um, as the Lord leads, I don't know, we might do something at midnight, but I will, I will announce in the WhatsApp group. Guys, remember on my TikTok, there's a, a barcode. You open your WhatsApp and you scan and you are in the WhatsApp group. God bless you.